This episode contains scenes involving British English. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi there. How about we learn something really useful? If you're tired of using I think, I'm sure, or maybe, how about we learn something better today? Anything interesting? Models of deduction. If you're wondering what models of deduction are, it's the same old model verbs that you might know. So, it's must and can't, may, might, could, and should. These words exactly. Now let me explain how they work. We use must plus infinitive when we are quite sure that something is true in present. For example, they look identical, they must be twins. It means that you believe or you think that they are twins because they look the same. I told Mike this morning that I must be a difficult man to find a flatmate for. I must be a difficult man to find a flatmate for. Sherlock believes or thinks that he's a difficult man, that's why it is hard to find a flatmate for him. We use must be plus verb ing with progressive verbs when we are quite sure about something that is happening right now. For example, I don't believe you, you must be kidding. It means I think that you are either lying or just joking. Your leg must be hurting you. Your leg must be hurting you. Moriarty is sure that Watson's leg is hurting him right now. We use must have plus past participle when we are quite sure about something that happened in the past or we think it was true in the past. For example, I can't find my ID. I must have left it at home. And mind the pronunciation. Must have left. Must have left. She must have had a phone or an organizer. She must have had a phone or an organizer. So, Sherlock believes or he's sure that the victim had a phone or an organizer. I must have blacked out. I must have blacked out. Sherlock thinks that he lost his consciousness or passed out. The killer must have driven her to Lauriston Gardens. The killer must have driven her to Lauriston Gardens. Sherlock believes, he thinks, that the killer drove his victim to Lauriston Gardens. We use must have been plus verb ing when we are sure or quite sure about something that was happening in the past. For example, you look tired, you must have been working all day long. You're welcome to subscribe to Talk Workshop if you want to improve your English. We use can't plus infinitive when we are sure that something is not true. For example, they've been living in Germany for a few weeks. They can't know many people there. I believe that they don't know many people there. We use can't be plus verb ing when we are sure that something is not happening right now. For example, they can't be sleeping, I hear them talking. So you believe that they are not sleeping. You think so because you hear them have any conversation. We use can't have plus past participle when we are sure or believe that something did not happen in the past or it wasn't true in the past. For example, he can't have bought a new car, he's been unemployed for months. You believe that he did not buy a new car because he has been out of work for quite some time. So she must have come a decent distance, but she can't have traveled more than two or three hours. She must have come a decent distance, but she can't have traveled more than two or three hours. So Sherlock believes that the victim came a long way, but he also believes that the victim did not travel more than two or three hours. We can also use couldn't have plus past participle to talk about things that you believe weren't true in the past. For example, it couldn't have been him. He's out of town. You believe that it wasn't him because you know for a fact that he left the town. We use can't have been plus verb ing when we believe that something was not happening in the past. For example, you can't have been cleaning all day. The house is still a mess. So, 
he believed that this person wasn't cleaning all day because the house still looks dirty. If you think that something is possible in present or future, but you're not sure, use could, may or might with infinitive. For example, it could be true. So it's possible that it's true, but you're not sure. Or we may see each other tomorrow. There is a possibility that we will see each other tomorrow. You can also negate the sentences with not. For example, we may not see each other tomorrow if I have a busy work day. I could be wrong, but I think that's none of your business. I could be wrong, but that's none of your business. Even though Watson is saying that it's possible that he's wrong, with this phrase, he's just telling Moriarty to mind his own business. Mrs. Hudson, I'll be late. Might need some food. Might need some food. Obviously, it's I might need some food. But sometimes we just skip subjects. Okay? So Sherlock here thinks that it's possible that he will be hungry when he gets back home. So he wants Mrs. Hudson to make some dinner for him. We have what you might call a difficult relationship. We have what you might call a difficult relationship. So Moriarty says that it's possible to define the relationship with Sherlock as difficult, even though some people might call it something different, like rivalry, like somebody may call them enemies, but he chooses to call their relationship difficult. Use could, may, or might be plus verb ing when you think that it's possible that something is happening right now. For example, he's not picking up, he might be driving. So you think that it's possible that he's driving right now because you can't get through to him, but again, you're not sure. I think my husband might be having an affair. Yes. Sherlock's client says, I think my husband might be having an affair, which Sherlock agrees with. So, she thinks that it is possible that her husband is having an affair, but she's not sure, and she wants Sherlock to prove her right or prove her wrong, maybe. Use could, might, or may have plus past participle when you think that it's possible that something was true or happened in the past. For example, they might have arrived at the restaurant if they left an hour ago. So we believe that it's possible that they are already in the restaurant if they left an hour ago, but you're not sure. It could have been a seizure. Could have been a seizure. Watson, as a doctor, examines the body and he thinks that it's possible that it was a seizure. A seizure is a sudden attack of illness, especially a stroke. Well, the question is, where is her phone now? She could have lost it. Yes. She could have lost it. Here, Sherlock thinks that there is a possibility that the victim lost her phone. One of them could have been following him, but... One of them could have been following him. So it's possible that one of them was following him. Use should plus infinitive when you expect something to happen. For example, we're expecting guests. They should come any minute now. So you believe or you expect that the guest will arrive very soon. Right, we should do it. Right, this should do it. Okay, so that you understand context, I'll give you a pre-story. So, Watson and Sherlock decided to get into this house under some false pretense. So, Watson hit Sherlock's face so that he could ask for help. And here they let them in this house. And Watson is holding a bowl of water and some napkins, I guess, so that Sherlock could clean his face. So, they're still pretending that they are in this house for some help after Sherlock was beat up. But Watson did not expect to see a naked woman there. So anyways, back to his phrase, right, this should do it. 
so he expects that the bowl of water and some napkins will help clean up Sherlock's face. Use should have plus past participle when you expected a situation to happen in the past. For example, their plane landed two hours ago. They should have come home by now. So, so this man should have died in a plane crash in Germany yesterday, but instead he's in a car boot in Southwark. Lucky escape. So this man should have died in a plane crash in Germany yesterday. The police officers expected that the victim died in a crash in Germany. Instead, they found his body in a car boot in a totally different place. Mm, by the way, ought to is a total synonym of should. So, when you say they ought to be home, you mean they should be home. You expect them to be home. They ought to have arrived two hours ago. They should have arrived two hours ago. You expected that they arrived two hours ago. Ought to is mostly used in British English. Come on, a nice little place in central London. Together we ought to be able to afford it. Get my a nice little place in central London. Together we ought to be able to afford it. Sherlock expects if he and Watson become roommates, they will be able to afford the apartment in central London. It might be difficult to wrap your head around all these grammar rules, but with some practice, you should be able to do it. So you're welcome to leave your example sentences in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Have an enjoyable day.